So, you made it to week 10 of 2018. I bet it feels a little surreal, doesn't it? You didn't think you'd make it this far. Anyways, we're not quite to being in Fallout yet, but at least I can show you a couple of mods. The first one that I'm walking around right now is Sister of Battle Power Armor by Death Optimus. This is from Warhammer, and it comes with body slide files, and I think it looks great. This is with the 4K textures. There are also 2K textures available. It comes as the armor, the shoulders, the backpack, the belt, and a chain, and some gauntlets. So several pieces that you can mix and match to your fancy, and apply mods to every single one of them. And as you can see, you can basically apply misc mods and weave to everything except for the chain, which if you have legendary crafting, you will be able to put a legendary on, but other than that, the mods are pretty standard. The power armor also comes with a sword, but that is non-upgradable. And our weapon is Sweet Kimber Pistol by Dark Knight 67. This is a highly customizable and detailed 1911 mod. I know we have a lot of M1911 mods, uh, but this one is probably one of the most complex ones that we have in Fallout 4 so far. For the mods, I went with the most powerful receiver, as I always do, so that we can see the full capability. There is an ability to chamber it into 10mm, but I didn't think that was necessary. Uh, for the muzzle mod, I went with something that would kind of go with my armor, because it was a little red. Uh, and then there are very different colors of grips. They do not add any stats, aside from looking nice and raising the value of the weapon. But I decided to go with a red motif. You're able to put an immobilizer on the weapon to stagger opponents, as well as a accuracy mod for your grip. I didn't even I have never seen these actually on another weapon mod. You're able to pick from several different sites, uh, including glowing sites, which I normally do, so I decided to go with red for the motif. There are a couple of mags you can pick from. They can be very long, or just a quick eject. I chose just a quick eject because I didn't want to look like I was carrying around a big thing. And apparently I didn't have enough turpentine to be able to do the paint for the gun, so I did spawn some in later and change to the red skin. You're also able to put a laser pointer and flashlight, or just flashlight. Of course we do both. So I know this has been a shorter video, we haven't been really getting mod dumps like we normally have been, but if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below, subscribe for more like this, and until next time, thank you so much for watching, and have a nice day.